Well, this is a positive end to the trading week for India and the benchmark indices ended with gains of about a quarter of a percent. We traded in a bit of a narrow range today and that's been the case for the last couple of sessions that held true today as well. The real action taking place in the broader end of the market with the mid cap index gaining about half a percent and the small cap index also gaining by about that much. Now, some of the positive sentiment from the global market rubbing off here in India as well because that key overhang of the debt ceiling issue in the US was resolved very early today with the Senate having passed the deal that was struck by the White House and the Republicans. Now, uh, for the week as a whole though, uh, there's not too much to speak of in terms of the move for the benchmark index. It ended more or less flat with gains of about a tenth of a percent. But it's the second week in a row that you're seeing the benchmark index gaining. Here too, most of the action taking place at the broader end of the spectrum with the mid cap index gaining about 1.6% for the week and the small cap index ending with gains of about 3.1%. Now the key gainers for uh, in the stocks that you want to watch out for are names that have been in focus the last couple of days. Apollo Hospitals, for example, gaining as much as 7.6%. And then the likes of Hero Motor Corp as well as uh, Mahindra and Mahindra gaining about 5% or thereabouts. Titan and Asian Paints also registering strong gains. Among the losers, again, these are stocks we've been speaking about quite often. ONGC losing ground very early in the week and being a little uh, under the weather all through the week, it lost about 5.6% after a disappointment of a Q4 result. You had Coal India that is down about 4.5%. This is on the back of its offer for sale, which will likely uh, sail through as things stand right now. Adani Enterprises also losing 4%. Reliance Industries, a big boy, proving to be a bit of a drag for the benchmark, losing about 2.1% for the week. Now, among the sectors, uh, you had the metal counters that did particularly well. Uh, in uh, uh, towards in a few sessions, but all told for the week, they gained only about a third of a percent. The real gainers were the Nifty Realty Index that ended about 4% higher. Pharma also for the week up as much as 2.4%. The Nifty Bank, in fact, lost ground and so did the Nifty IT Index. Uh, India VIX is cooled off even further today, ending at 11.12. And that is going to be a little bit of a dampener for the bulls. Um, of course, the key levels to watch out for uh, for the Nifty 50 have to be that level of uh, 18,500. We've defended that mark today. We've closed above that mark. But uh, that's clearly something to watch out for at the start of trade next week.